like to do a walk around of my latest surfboard purchase, which I'm very pleased to have done. This is a Jacobs Lance Carson model from the 1960s. It's a pintail, as you can see. It's in very good to, I would say, excellent condition for the age, of course. It's not new. It's 54 or 5 years old, I would guess. But it is in very good condition, both on the top and the bottom. The fin tells a little bit about the age of the board, as do the stringers. There are three stringers in this board. The center stringer, the dark brown one, is redwood. And the side stringers are balsa with black glue-ups. That makes this board a second generation Lance Carson model. The first generation had all three stringers made of redwood. The second generation they added the balsa to replace the original redwood to cut down on the weight of the board. And then in the third generation, they replaced the balsa with high density foam, which was becoming popular in the, oh, I would say from 1966 on. So until I find out for sure about this wonderful relic, I will guess it was probably made somewhere in 1965, maybe. Maybe as early as 64 and as late as 66, but I would say 65. It does have a few dings, war wounds I like to call them, but they have been repaired pretty well and in no way is this board uh, taking water at all through these dings. These dings are repaired very well. Also notice for a board this old the lack of pressure dings on the deck which tells us this board either wasn't ridden very much or certainly it's you know for the 55 years that it's existed. And it's a tribute to the glass jobs that they did back in the day. The discoloration is just either from sun fading or water. Looks like perhaps this, this is water, evidence of water getting into the board, I believe. Before, probably before the nose was repaired. But overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being perfect, I'd call this board a 8.5 or a 9. And a real find. I'm real happy with the, the, the finding this and purchasing it. The only serial number we have on it is a little hard to make out, but it looks like Z302. And I've put a email into Lance Carson who still makes these boards at the age of 70 what is he 75 or 76 now I've already put a an email to him telling him about this board and asking if he can identify it through the serial number as far as who shaped it and what year it was made I'm looking forward to riding it and I'm thrilled to have it in my quiver it's a 9-2 Looks to be 22 inches wide with a 17 inch nose and a 17 inch tail. So there you have it. A Jacobs Lance Carson model from the late 60s before boards went short.